needs retribution. Victory. Oh boy. Well met. Wow. For justice. I fight. Is it just me, or do you feel terrible when you accidentally BM by taking your time? I think it's just me. This is my battle for justice. Rip. The victory is yours. So yeah, time to concede. The victory what did he get? How big is that? 8-8? Eight, eight? So are we dead next turn? No we're not, because we're legends. Sweet. You know what I haven't seen in a long, long time? Zoo. Who goes there? I mean, I don't miss Zoo, but... It's so weird not for them to be part of the metagame, you know? Like, they've been part of the metagame for ages. Oh, thank you! Wow. That was not a good move, buddy. That was not a good move. So, if we don't use the coin here, we can actually do that on turn 3, attack into something, and then turn 4, coin into green skin. Which is probably something worth holding back for. Problem is, if we use coin this turn on it, then we get buffs on all of our minions. And we're going to have to sacrifice both of these in. But we swap them for these two on the plus side. So that's cool. I mean, maybe we don't have to attack in. And finish the charge. Maybe, maybe that's good. It might be worth doing. I'm going to do it. I just, I kind of value getting the buffs off a little bit more, you know? That's another one of those instances where you make a play and you can easily see the justification for doing the other play. It's really annoying, those kind of moves. <laughs> it makes it hard to uh, believe they've made the right move. No. No. So... We definitely trade every single time here. The fact that he did not use Shadow Bolt means it's not in his hand, because if he had Shadow Bolt, then he would not have fed us this for free. Maybe we use this? It's on curve, which is worth considering. Yeah, you know what? I think we do. Nice. So, so far, um, yeah, I think that decision to hold back the minions was actually correct. Simply because we've kept another level of buffs going on. Which is pretty awesome. So we definitely play that because that's a Corcoran Elite for one mana. Which is sick. And I actually think we just hear about here. And we hold the weapon back and... Pray to God, whatever deity you believe in, that he does not have ooze. Because if he does have ooze, we are very sad next turn. Like, our entire turn 2 conundrum was based around keeping this. And it has paid off. Feels amazing. Man. Okay, so either he has Reno, or I think he just loses. Justice demands retribution. You will pay for your foul crimes. I wonder. 
And now he's got a slow rope because he's lost. If I was comedically inclined, I would make some pun about him not getting the top deck he needed. But, uh, nah, nothing comes to mind. <laughs> and I don't want to embarrass myself, so let's just leave that way alone, shall we? Okay, this does not seem to be the play that will win him the game. Yep, that is a big minion. That is a very big minion you have there. Unfortunately, it changes absolutely nothing. Yo ho! I think we won the emotes game, that game. We won that quite firmly, and we're on to the last win for Golden Paladin. I am excited. After we get this, I might not ever play Hearthstone again. Oh, I'm gonna be free. Free from the torment of knowing that I've spent way too much money on one game. Fantastic. Oh, we've got it. We've got the God Draw. Will it happen? Okay, it's good, it's good, I like it. So, one, right, right, two, right. Coin four, ooh, could be good. No, that's gonna die 100%. Um, let's do it, no patches. Yes, we did it. We correctly drew. Okay, hang on, we've probably jinxed it. Yeah, I can feel the patches. That, that card there is a patches. Hearthstone has been taken aback by my, by my choice, my bold choice to use zero card back. I have chosen the void card back, the non-existent card back. Not even classic Hearthstone card back. I mean, look at it. Classical golden lines and a pasty blue in the middle. We did not draw patches. Hearthstone loves me. Feels good. Feels good. Question is though, what do we do now? We can coin that out and mm -hmm. then play both of those. Which I think I do like. I like that a lot actually, because Druid can do a lot of one damage kind of damage sources. Um, they can do a lot of two damage damage sources, but at least this way. He can't freely use his hero power to kill one of our minions, which is pretty sick. Yeah, we have to do this because if we don't, we can't get the buff off of the Rallying Blade next turn. Did you notice how I sneakily checked the card to make sure that I knew what it was actually called? That is professionalism right there. I both showed you the art and the card that I was referring to, as well as checking my own memory. You do not get better commentary than this. Yep, I'm feeling it. This is number 500, and it feels incredible. If he plays a big dude, we've got that. If he plays nothing, we've got that. We've got more damage. What more do you actually need in your hand? That that's okay, that's okay. Um, I guess we do this. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna assume that we do that and that next turn, so Ah oh, no, but this weapon synergizes so well with that. Okay, we're going to hold back. We're going to hold back. Let's not get overly enthusiastic and drop the baton slash ball. This is 100% irrefutably number 500. And I am pumped. I am very hype. 
Let us be rid of this. Terrible, terrible game. I'm just kidding, Blizzard. I love it, really. In what other digital eSport game would I be able to pop bubbles in purple slime? I cannot think of any. That is how good this game is. So I'm thinking... Ah, uh, no. You know what? I'm going to continue to play minions and stuff. And now that we've dropped the Keeper, we can freely swing in with that as well. An alternative play would have been to play the Argent Lance to free our hand and then doing that. And here we get bitten because, you know, we can't keep at that. And swing in with our weapon, so you can definitely argue that this was not the best play. But, I would disagree because I can do that, that now. And draw a free card, which is always good. The question is, do we value card draw now, or immediate board presence? Ah, oh, this is tricky because I think we actually, even though card draw is amazing, mm. I think we actually value the board presence. It's only a 2-2 and a divine shield that we get, but I think that might be enough to push us into the win. Then if we draw cards, we get Tyrion and the Enforcer dude. Attack, attack, and then that. Yeah, I think I think we do this. I think we have to. Alternatively, we attack in with that. Which, to be fair, could be the right option. Ah. Once again, we probably made the wrong choice there, but I am... I'm content. I'm content. At least this way. I mean, this play is very similar to the Argent Protector play because with the Argent Protector, you both protect a minion and develop board control. This way, you protect a minion by killing a minion and develop a weapon. So, I guess with that reasoning, the Argent Protector would be better because it's a slower card because it's a minion and does not have charge. Whereas a weapon basically does, and he is running naturally... No, he's not. Okay. I was about to get worried then for both my sanity and my opposing player here. Got a pair. Not on my watch. I'm not sure you can tell people that they've got a pair. I don't think that's, that's really convention. Personally, I would be very uncomfortable if someone came up to me in a roughly Scottish, which has at this point become synonymous with being Dwarvish, accent, and told me that I've got a pair. I mean, it's true, but I don't really want to discuss my anatomy with a complete stranger, particularly a Dwarven stranger. So here we've got some really cool synergy. I'm going to pretend that this was planned all along. Skadoosh. For justice. This is my responsibility. Not Jokes, my that does not work. House. Ah, we're gonna be trading in with the Divine Shield anyway, and yeah, Druid can't deal with the big board at all. So playing this is fine, we want to make space for Divine Sh not Divine Shield, Divine Favor. Yeah. No. Okay, this is actually impossible for us to lose short of Yogg Saron at this point. I mean, Ancient of War would give us a fair run for our money, but we still have more than enough power on board. Maybe he has like Acid Drake Swipe plus Innovate something or Living Roots. A mix of those spells would be reasonably effective here. Let us weaken his morale and resolve by making a cheeky emote. Question is, which emote do we use to begin our quest for psychological warfare? Well played. Well played. Hmm. 
I get the best deal anywhere. This way, he doubts that he can even win anymore. He is convinced that the one card in her hand is so good that he stands no chance at all. But I am confident in saying well played well before he has even started what could be his last turn. In this instance, with him playing Gadget Sam and going for Miracle on us, Divine Favor is actually probably <laughs> as good as he could be dreading. Yes, 500! Oi! Oh, get ready to savor it. Get ready. It happened. For honor. And justice and stuff. This is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And I think you know. Well, of course you know, because you've probably clicked in the video. But, yeah. I think you know what my, uh... <laughs> what my thumbnail for this video will be. This gorgeous, gorgeous, dead man. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And it took a long time. Oh, we did it, boys. We did it. We have a shiny. We have a shiny. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the quest. Maybe. I will never play Hearthstone again. Maybe my sanity can once again become existent as opposed to non-existent. As always guys, thank you for watching and enjoying with me this thrilling episode of my gaming life and I will see you, maybe, unlikely, in the next one. Ciao! Against these giants of both the casual and competitive FPS scenes, Rainbow Six Siege is the challenger.